Alright, listen up, you beautiful, beautiful human being. Today's story is gonna be about me. So one of the biggest complaints that I ever got at Subway being a sandwich artist, and people hate that I call myself a sandwich artist, but listen, let me have this one thing. Anyways, the biggest complaint that I have as a sandwich artist at Subway is not enough meat. And I know we've all experienced this before. We go to a fast food place or we go to like, you know, a place where they make the food right in front of you, like a Subway, and they don't give you enough meat. But me personally, like, dude, I try to give as much meat as humanly possible. I literally fill those scoopers up to the max and sometimes it even overflows but like the other meat where you have to count it out like the turkey pepperoni salami i like can't control that there's a formula that subway gives everybody and you know some people think it's too much meat some people think it's not enough meat and that just goes to show that not everybody is the same if you want extra meat at subway yo it's a few bucks more i mean i know it's tough i know you might want like 90 grams of protein on your sandwich but from like a business owner's perspective the meat is the most important and most expensive part of any sandwich that meat don't come cheap, I'm not gonna lie. For like an entire bag of chicken strips, I'm pretty sure it's something like 15 bucks. Don't quote me on that, I might be completely wrong. But there is a reason why the meat at Subway is so expensive, and this brings me to my story today. Two days ago, I had a woman come in that was literally on my live, and she was telling me I didn't put enough meat on her sandwiches. She got a couple of chicken teriyaki subs. Listen, she was a really nice woman. I gotta say, like, she's had conversations with me before, she's actually a very nice person. But every single time she comes into my Subway, she tries finessing me out of extra meat meat every single time so on this particular day i put a little bit extra just to see what she would say obviously without telling her and like just kind of doing you know a little test call this a placebo if you will and she goes that's not enough meat on my sandwich i go you know i put extra meat this time for you there's no excuses anymore it's like honestly ridiculous we gotta follow a formula and that's like anywhere in fast food and i can get in trouble for uh putting extra meat obviously i'm not gonna get in trouble but like come on we end up losing money if i just start putting extra scoops onto it for free and i told her it's like two dollars more for double meat do you want to do that and she was like nope and i'm like okay you have nothing to complain about then if you can't cough up two dollars for your two extra scoops of uh chicken teriyaki then like why are you complaining you know if you're really nice to me and like you're like you know you're just a very nice person sometimes i'll toss in an extra slice of turkey or an extra scoop of tuna but don't tell my parents that but guys just understand when you go to a fast food place there's a reason they give so little meat sometimes and i don't even think it's a little i think it's so much meat that we give i don't know why i said a little but just come on just pay the extra couple bucks. Sometimes they don't even charge you at the register. Like sometimes I, I don't charge at the register. You know, I kind of let it slide. But just don't show an attitude about that kind of a thing because at the end of the day, it's not the employee's fault at all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so dearly. Something like 80% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, but watch the video. So if you made it this far, I think I earned a subscription. Please subscribe. You can unsubscribe at any time. Like the video up. Let's break, uh, let's break five likes today. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Turn on those bell notifications and remember eat fresh